Hello and welcome. My name is Steve Park and I'm a member of the customer success team at TIBCO Jaspersoft. In this video, I'm going to do a short demonstration of how to create hyperlinks on an HTML5 chart using Jaspersoft Studio Professional, either version 6.0 or older. In the 6.1 release, the interface of how to create hyperlinks has changed and I've created another video on that topic. Um, so to begin, I've got two uh, reports created here in Jaspersoft Studio. I've got the report that has the HTML5 chart that I will put the hyperlinks on and then I have an, a tabular report that I'm using for drilling down to. Uh, this chart has a parameter uh, called country and then if we look in the query uh, we have uh, I'm using the sugar CRM sample data that comes with Jasper Report Server and uh, the query is, is very simple. It's just selecting the city and the sum of the freight from the orders table uh, where the ship country equals the country parameter. Okay, and if we go take a look at the chart properties and we go take a look at the chart data and the configuration, uh, you'll notice that I've already got my categories and my value, my measure set up. Uh, so now that I have the values set up here, now I need to go ahead and do some things to create the uh, hyperlink properties. The first thing I need to do is I need to define some bucket properties. Um, so since I am uh, grouping on the city and since I'm passing in country as a parameter, I actually need to create two bucket properties. So I'll go over here and click on the bucket properties tab and then I click the add button. And the first property I'm gonna, bucket property I'm gonna create is called country and I'm going to use the country parameter. And then I go ahead and click finish and I click OK. Now I'm going to add another parameter. This one is going to be for the city. And for this one, I'm going to use uh, the city field. OK, so now that I've got those two bucket properties, the next thing I need to do is I need to come down here and click on the advanced properties tab and I click on the hyperlink button and this will define some properties for me. Now I need to come in and I need to configure and edit these properties in order to be able to use them. The first one I'm going to modify is called the hyperlink type property. So I click on the modify button and I come down here. I'm going to leave the property name hyperlink type as is, uh, but I'm going to come down here and I'm going to change the type from reference to report execution. What this will do is it will allow me to execute the drill down target report when I click on the hyperlink. The next thing I need to do is I need to find the target. This is where I'm going to drill the report that I'm going to drill down to. So it's going to be the location of the report on the repository that I'm drilling to. So in this case, I need to change this property name to underscore report. And then I need to change the constant value here. I'm going to put in the path on the repository to the drill down report. So in this case, the, uh, the ID for the report is called orders underscore target. Okay, so I leave that there and I click OK. And then finally, what I need to do is I need to pass my parameters down. So I click on Modify here and I'm going to change this uh, property name for hyperlink reference. I'm going to change that to Country. And I'm going to pass in the bucket property. First, before I do that, I'm going to get rid of this constant value. It probably doesn't hurt to leave the constant value there, but I'll get rid of it just in case. And now I need to define my bucket property. I've already defined two bucket properties previously. So I'm going to select on the country, city.country property. I click OK. And the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to define the city property, or city parameter rather, I'm going to pass into. So what I need to do is I actually need to change this to series item hyperlink. I put the city property in down here, and then I choose the bucket value for city.city. .city. I click OK. And those are all the properties that I need to enable for hyperlinks. So I click OK. I'm going to go ahead and save this. And then I'm going to go ahead and publish it up to the server. So the way I do that is, is I already have my server connection defined here. Um, so I'm going to come over here to orders chart. And I'm going to click on properties. And then I'm going to click on up, up download resource. I click on upload from workspace. And then I click on my report. I click finish. And now it's on the server. So now I've already got the uh, drilled on target report deployed to the server. So what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to go to my browser and I'm signed in here. So now I can go in and view the report. So I click on orders chart and it's going to prompt me for the country parameter. I went ahead and defined a parameter that uses a single select query. 
So I click OK. And there's my HTML5 chart. And now if I click on Boise, it takes me to the drill down target for Boise. And that's it.